All right, we have another one here. All right, is it gonna be Plank again? No, it's gonna be Primordium. All right, easy mode it is. So, Primordium. Last few times, I feel like it's given us like Reformdium. Well, we won't get cocky. But I gotta think this is usually not bad. Okay. I actually think this is by far one of the worst um, situations for Primordium. Like, not only not only is it Wormkin secondary, it's Echo Break. Ew. Ugh, and Tumbra shit salt here. Shelters are probably not gonna be that good in this deck. Uh, Feast is not, just not a good card, honestly. It's looking cursed so far based on the first screen. Oh my god, double up. What? Oh, okay, there's a Wormkin there. I I saw this and I was like, hey, that, I thought that was impossible to literally only get one, of <laughs> one clan. Oh god, this is still horrible. Look at this. Look at, the, look at fucking this, man. Look at this. Am I gonna have to go Umbra here? I mean, there's only one Wormkin banner. And I can't even pair it with Merchant of Steel. I have to wait all the way to here to even hit a steel. Yikes, dude. This... This is gonna be rough. I don't like this one bit. Fucking annoying bosses, too. Hmm. Technically, Superfood has Shelter Synergy. <laughs> Ain't much else. Star War only has Synergy if I find Echo Transfer, Echo Break. Or Echo, uh, not Echo Break. Echo Infusion. Whatever the fuck you call it. Otherwise, it's horrible. I mean, Ring 1 Star War fucking is horrible. Horrible. Whereas Swing One Superfood, that's workable. I, I would go so far to say a Stalwart stack is one of the worst starting Ring One champ pass in the game when you don't have support for it. AKA like Root Seeds or like I said, a, you know, flat stat increases. Or Reform or something. I think we just do a Superfood. And we may just not end up using Primordium this run. Uh, Man, early done Echo. With only one warm can unit on the map. May not be that good. Mandibles will always be decent. I think we do the mandibles. I just don't respect Don Echo. Uh, it just doesn't... Like, why doesn't it just get, make all three infused? I don't get it. Why does it have to just only do one? I think I would obviously take... I think Duneco wouldn't even be OP if it did that. It would just be a good artifact at that point. Not not that Wormkin needs additional good artifacts. Well, these spikes are annoying. Not gonna lie, they are... They are annoying. We'll do it, though. It's no unit draft, so... Continuing on the, the cursed theme here. That's fine. We'll do this... I guess there's no reason not to just do this. We're probably never going to get shelter to really do anything, so we'll just consume it for nothing. It's fine. We'd rather just get our other cards, most likely. Wow. Plink, you are hitting. You are hitting. Um... I'm fine doing one of them. Save the other one for the boss. Okay, you're dead. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. 
He's dying to reap, so we may as well just put these here. I don't want to die to the uh, fucking whatever you call it. Put one of them here. Gotta remember we have mandibles, so playing anything infused is obviously just better. Alright, got him good. Got him good. Uh, we have quite the conundrum. We have a, probably the best morsel card, and it's infused. Might need it, especially if I get stuck with an alloy, but Space Prism is so good. If I do get a good Wormkin, we'll be so happy that we have that Space Prism. God, this is a tough choice. Um, hmm. If we low roll on one, problem is right now it's like we've we've missed on one unit draft. It's only a fifty-fifty. We get the other the other one. We may look at just one Wormkin unit even offered on this run, and if it's something like Kinos Carapace with first of kin or something like that. We don't really benefit that much from a wide floor. I mean, kind of with first of kin, but not really. Um, if we found a spell chain broken memories, then yeah, I'll, I'm in on that. But like obvious, or even eggs, like even eggs, I don't think they'll work. I mean, we can make the eggs work probably, but like even. Uh, I guess Space Prism really it just benefits mainly from Shard Soul Carver and Keeper and to a certain extent First of Kin. But more so just the First of Kin infusion on a bunch of units I'd say. Hmm. Whereas making of a morsel is a great morsel to have. I don't have great morsel cards at the moment. And Tumbra Assault falls off a cliff, and Plinks are unreliable morsel generators. I have a Feast as well. This opens up Shroud Spike as a high roll. I have Umbra Banners, at least in my immediate future. Probably may just get stuck with Umbra Banners. I gotta think making of a morsel is the call here as I talk all of that out. Okay, in true Umbra fashion, I guess technically Dun Echo would have done one of them here. But as, you know, if I didn't have serrated mandibles, I would have taken a lot of pyre health damage that last time. Um, what's better then, Echo Infusion or Echo Transfer? Probably Echo Transfer, right? Offense is tougher to find than defense. Umbra has a lot of defense. Yeah, we'll do that. If we can find a stalwart stack, that would be great. I think if we find alloy, we don't need to go the Wormkin route. And we have a quick with the alloy. Damn it, no alloy. Hmm. Could do a Shadow Eater. I mean, Shadow Eater... There's been a... There's been a infusion I've been meaning to try... I haven't really seen anybody do it either, so like I don't know if it's actually good or not. In theory, I feel like it could be good, and it's uh, it's this one, Kinhos Vessel, because it's on strike, apply apply one rape to every unit, enemy unit. So if I had say a Shroud Spike coming back each turn, either through Consumer Move or Consumer Turn, I could get a stupid amount of reap to the entire floor each turn. A lot of moving parts that I need there to make that work, but it's not that out of the question in this combo, I feel. Either way, I mean, I will say um, these are decent Umbra units, at least it's not the Crucible Dogs, right? Like, these are things I can work with. Quick isn't good for either one, though. 25 health is probably best on the Shadow Eater. 
I think I take Shadow Eater. The only shitty thing is I can't use making of a morsel with it. But I can't make I can't use making of a morsel with any of them. While Primordium's on the floor, unfortunately. Well, it is what it is. Shadow Eater, I think, gets us through and is a pretty good unit in general. Uh, 25 health and we'll reroll for multi strike. If I get a multi strike, okay, we don't. It would have been better if I found a multi strike. Uh, you know, this money that we've gotten from trials and bones, we might as well remove some stuff. Probably hold the rest though. Ah, this sucks. It's still a pretty cursed run so far. Unit draft, it's less cursed now. The boss and units here are pretty easy too. So we'll just do this. You first, so we don't have the Ember Drain. Now that it actually matters. Oh look, Shelter doing nothing for us. I'm so surprised. This is why I don't rank Shelter that high. We don't need to be greedy here. Um, we can just do that. That and that. At least we're getting two out of this now. That's pretty good. Two stacks of that echo transfer. Hmm. I could do this and then I can... I can entumber a salt or plink. I suppose this would be better, right? And we can get damage for now. I'll wait on them. I want uh, echoes on this floor. Maybe the reap there would have been better though. I th think we just go this, that, that. That kills them all. Alright, we're good now. The stats we have up here are ridiculous. We can do this for the reap. Um, I think we just do these for Reap. Who gives a shit about Shelter? Nice. Alright. I've got to say, Serrated Mandibles has been amazing so far. Ooh. Hmm. Yikes. Void binding and perils, the eternal question here, because it's like it's my last chance to get perils. The thing is I could just take void binding. Zero cost it. Keep replaying it. Where do the magic Merchant of Magics look like. This one's good. This one is not so great. I gotta give up good stuff for it, but it's takeable. It has a caverns with it. This one's, again, not great. Takeable, though. At least they're not just straight up horrible. Well, I. God, there really aren't many magics on this one. Um, it's gonna be tough to find holdover. Void mining now is so powerful, but line if I didn't say I'd really love to have that perils to combo and then hopefully find a later void binding or furnace tap. And with a superfood. Man, superfood void binding is so good. But, you know, if I if I can't find a uh, Ombra Stone, uh, Trample Stone, or uh, Furnace Tap. It's not quite as good, because I'm just, I potentially just get stuck with a single striker. I think Perils is probably the smartest play here. Of course, the only one I'm not even considering is Infused. Very Wormkin-like, very Wormkin-like. I, I feel like I'm committing to Umbra at this point. I mean, Alloy's really better than anything I can get from Umbra, or from Wormkin. It's also better than anything I can get from Umbra. Um, hmm. 
God, I have to give up a hell of a... Well, hopefully I just get an alloy here as a unit draft. Uh, bounty Echoes... I just don't know... I just don't know how useful that is, but... I suppose with the Mandibles it's useful. Yeah, we'll take it. Hmm. I don't like this particular egg with Primordium. I like the egg. I don't like it with this Primordium. It doesn't typically get that much value. I guess it does. It's very good with aggressive. Um, with superfood, though, I'm just getting the stats, which, I don't know, I guess I get extra health. Ooh then it splits, and I'm only getting the front one with anything, really. Hmm. Man, you're just not giving me good shit to work with, are you, game? Even if I get alloy at this point, I have to go up a hell vent to go for it. Then if I do this hell vent, I need to go up that magic to do it. So if I don't find hold over here, which is only a 50 50, we got issues. Can't do it, man. I just can't do it. I can't do any of these. Ah, this is fucking horrible. Hell an echo transfer, maybe. And then still just take Worm Kenny in it. Could hell in the perils, just get a bunch of perils. Could work. I mean, the multi striking egg would probably be okay. It still doesn't benefit from, like, the whole superfood thing, but. I don't know. I feel like alloy is just the best thing I could find. It's not that out of the question that I find it here. Though. <laughs> if I don't find alloy, there's just nothing here good. Nothing infuses from Umbra into Shadow Eater that well. Guess I could high roll, get a morsel maiden. That could be good. I don't even know if a morsel maiden's that good in this deck, though. I don't have, like, a s good morsel spam necessarily. Spam Masubi. But again, I think. I just don't know what's good over here at this point for me. I think we just go this route. Quick again, please, for the love of God, give me alloy. It does. Sweet. Alright. So I have a few options here. Um, I can put alloy into Shadow Eater. It's not horrible. I don't need the whole Ember Drain thing to work out for me now that I have alloy, I think. I think a self-infused quick alloy is good. I just self-infuse here. Until then, I'm not too worried about it. We'll just make sure we don't shitstone it. I will probably just add 25 health. Do I need to? I have quick. I could re-roll for multi-strike here. Probably worth re-rolling for multi-strike. Like I said, the shitstone's a no-go because I need to fuel this guy. And that's going to be tough. Um, may have to do that just so I have consistent morsel gen. It's either that or plank. I think this one gets me more right now. I would even times five it if I have the opportunity. I might not. I honestly might actually just times five the making of a morsel over that. That's just how bad Entombra Assault is these days. 
fucking spell shield and high health totals have made it so bad. I mean, at least though at 30, I can I can kill anything for a pretty long time in the game. Um, oh man, this is good. Uh, rage on on a uh, primordium probably better than regen. The rage isn't that high, but neither is the regen. Both of them are fucked by chased, but they'll be good until then. Could heal. I mean, we didn't end up with damage shield or anything. Like, we might have a rough time against top floor. We have the shelters. But I think a buff is just going to be better. Uh... I don't think we do this because I may get stuck mid. Like, it's entirely not out of the question that I get stuck mid. Push. Also, it's not a huge reason to have it. I think we just leave that one. This is fine. It's like a very good scaling card. I think I'm going to aggressively remove Shadow Eater here. does suck for the whole holdover though I, I maybe we don't i i will say not getting alloy turn one though against uh this fucking talus stunner is gonna be a real fucking pain but it is what it is um i think we do gotta actually hold this gold though in all honesty shards of talus is a bitch too she gets so much extra damage I think we just cool it. Hopefully we drew a dry alloy first instead of shadow eater. Oh, there you have it. My luck is bullshit. Hmm. <sighs> we draw all of that too. That really sucks. This is not the turn I wanted to draw this in Timber Assault. This is off to a horrible fucking start here. Um, we're gonna go top still with the boys. I'm gonna put you in and just do this. I would have loved to hold those, but I think we need to just do that for now. And then this is really all I can do here. God, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, man. Jesus, dude. I can't even... I think we have to, uh, I think we have to do this. Like, I have to get these stacking. It's so annoying. Um, might as well do this while the rage is high. Man, I might run out of fuel and this is game over. Well, not here at least. I think we preserve... It's a little risky. Okay, that's fine. Do that. Do this while we have the planks, I guess. And... I'll hold that. Three fuel there is pretty nice. But we're still a little iffy. Guys out. I don't want that to die to reap, so I'm not gonna put any reap down there. Like I want to be able to hit that for in terms of assault or plank. Or, or I just won't draw it. That that works too. If you if you wanna play it that way, then go fuck yourself game. We'll do that for the echo there, I guess. Uh, we can do that. We probably just do this here. It's going to be tight, I think. Uh, I only have what? How much fuel? This kills here. Alright, that's good. I think we're good. With that fuel at the end there. You'll notice that we were down to what? One fuel? Pretty refuculous, let's be honest. Mm. 
One fuel wouldn't have been enough, but we got it there. We got the three fuel at the end. Oh, Umberstone's such a big pickup. Is there any reason for etchings? It's always worth checking. Don't think so. Umberstone's huge. Um, yeah, Keeper would have been nice to see you earlier and build into you, but we're just going to have an Umbra run here. Um, could go this route. I could hit Alloy and not need this hell vent. I mean, I'm going this route anyway because of perils. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> These are just skips, yeah. Uh, draw. It's almost certainly draw. Alright. Check these out first. Holdover. Oh, we got the holdover. That's good. Peril's holdover is definitely happening. Um, no whammy? Ha ha ha. That is... Whew. Cursed run no longer. I'm a happy man. I'm a happy man. This is such a good ring here. Oh my god, this ring is good. Before I forget, you may leave us now, Shadow Eater. Your service was appreciated, but it truthfully is just not needed. And, uh, yeah. Hold over here and pray we get Void Binding offered again. Um, we're at 50 shards. I'm gonna need to get shards somehow. I think this is okay to do this. Just to make it easier to play. If I draw it in my opener, I want it. Um, how else are we getting our shards? So, 15 here. I'll be up to 80. I could do that if I want it to 90. So I'll need 10 shards anyhow. Just have to keep that in mind. I don't know that I need to take this yet, though. It's not super high value purges in this deck. Um, let's get that to zero. If I double. Let's see, we can search down that one, I think. The planks at least get me echoes on the floor and reap. I don't think we're going to take aggressive. I think we would do this. This allows a top floor setup anyway. The damage shield and... Hopefully we get a stalwart stack. If not... Hopefully I get a wretch. If not, I'm still fine, probably. For money... Morsel Gen definitely goes down here. I mean, it's completely nullified. Spell Shield's brutal against these Plink and Atemper Assault decks. Um, but, I don't know, it's a lot of gold. I don't have to hit this Merchant of Magic anymore. I probably still go that route. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of gold that I may not need. I mean, I get six fuel from Primordium alone. I get another two there, so we're looking at eight fuel. And that's it. Am I going to be able to do it on eight fuel? It's going to be, what, five ways till the boss? Dude, I don't know that I can fucking take this. I mean, even then, it's... Oh, I hate the clip guard. The clip guard is so fucking broken. Like, my planks aren't going to do shit anyway. There's, like, what, one healer? Two healers, maybe tops? So, like, <laughs> I don't even know that 33 damage kills anybody. So, I don't actually think... The spell shield ends up mattering. It might just be fucking dead. Man, this is rough. This on holdover also hurts the ability to redraw making of a morsel. It's something we gotta think about. Well, I think it's doable. Um, we may have to set up bottom though. Nah, fuck it, we got this. I'm gonna have a lot of damage. I'm not going to play Feast, though. I want... I don't care too much about losing the Rage here. Hmm. I'm going to play this, even though it doesn't do anything. I think 
we'd rather try to find some other stuff to at least try to get something of value here. Like, this this is okay here. They still get the extra stacks of rage there, which is totally worth it. This is not a bad turn to find in Tumbra Assault. There's that trusted priest. I think at any rate we do this. Damage for now. I'm gonna try to maybe break the spell shield. Ah, oh, god damn. Okay, you're just dead. Okay. Well, if you say so. We'll, we'll draw back into that, and that'll be extra fuel. So now I'm, I'm probably at enough fuel I can win this. We're just putting in Reap down there. Ah, well, I wouldn't have been able to play that anyway. Uh, we're just going to consume these out. I want to try to get back to Morsel Maker. Actually, to make that work, not really. The fuck is that Umbra Stone, bastards? All right, let's do this. That that'll get me there. Unfortunately, there's nothing here for us. Well, what's our fuel at? Six? Okay, we got the other one. We're good. We're good. Um, one, two. We're just going to try to get his damage down, and maybe I can untumber assault. I don't think I'll need it, though. We got this, too. We're definitely fine. You go down by 12. One more. Okay. I think the Entumber Assault should hit now. Oh, we never found it, but we don't need it. Oh, we did find it. Alright, cool. Might as well feast, and then we'll do that. Alright, we dominated him. That was probably the hardest fight we'll find. I think we know what we need to Hellvent now, though, right? Making of a fucking morsel. Uh, cannibalize is just not gonna have targets. Unless I, I could do something weird like Endless Steward. I think cannibalize is just a shit card. They're all, I mean, for, engine upgrade isn't shit, but when I have holdover perils, it's shit. And prison retrieval is shit. These are skips. I really wanted to grovel. Uh, return Soul's good. I can thin the deck out with that. Yep. Speaking of deck thinning... Okay, the Pierce there is great. That actually might be the Hellvent target then. That's the 10 shards I needed. I'll get to 100, but I could also just Hellvent it. How much does that cost? 15. Then if I take the horde, I'm at 105. Kind of seems worth it. I mean, that's 43 piercing. I think it's worth it. Um, just get rid of the stewards. <sighs> Am I going to be fucking... What's his name? Stealth Boss. Oh, we'll cross that bridge if we get to it here, huh? Minus two on anything that is outstanding here. Doubt it. Of course. Well, I could uh, hold... I mean, I'm going to have damage shield six of it. I could hold 
use morsels to uh, use as blockers. I could wait on these shelters to get them big. Uh, you know, I've got options. 90 sharded dude is going to be tough. This heaven seal is fine. We'll, we'll be killing everything, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we start with that. Uh, we could... This gets me a pretty good amount of armor, I think. Oh, it just gets me six. I think I'd do it anyway. Um, we'll do this. Let's do this. Um, I can hold that. I mean, I'm going to hold it anyway. There'll be potential fodder for, you know, who... This is pretty good draw order here. I have to feel at the same time, so I don't think I need to get that fancy here. Um, let's do this and then bring it that plank back. Then that is an, another morsel that we can put into the pool to try to stack. I'm gonna. Once the last wave is there, I could try to stack four morsels mid. That's four stacks of stealth taken out. I think that's probably worth. Uh, we can do this one. So I'm quick. This guy will die. That's a fine one to put there. We have another one in the pool. this shelter is going to be worth is it better than trying to plank that or that probably right just get more armor here also, you know I built up six damage shield I'll lose one here I could redraw to uh, Antumbra Assault, so I'll leave these guys. And let's do this. I'll wait on that. I, is it worth trying this plink? Because I would Antumbra Assault this guy. <sighs> Was not worth it. Well, whatever. Um, we don't want that guy to die. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I did not think that was going to fucking kill him. Can I fucking find it? Jesus. So, well, if that's what kills me, I deserve it. I fucking deserve it. Let's just give this guy a bunch of re. Please tell me I redraw any of these fucking morsels. Holy fuck. One. Okay, nine fuel, nine stealth. We can. We can do this. Fucking horrible, though. So break up two of the stealth here. This is a fucking joke, man. This is just fucked. Well, whatever. We might be fine. I've got a lot of pyre health. Um, here we go. Here, why don't you block that? I think we're running out of fuel. Yeah, we're running out of fuel, actually. Um, looks like we got him. Just for good measure, though. We'll, uh, yeah. Man, what an annoying fight. I think that'll be the hardest fight that we deal with, honestly. The, the ring four and fives here. I mean, this gives me one extra attack. I guess it's worth it. Yeah, pretty worth. Um, why am I even considering this shitty card? I don't think we need any of this. 
that I could use. I could use that too, but this well, is just probably better. Uh, chance at additional multi strike. Probably best, yeah. Yeah. Vortex on this side is pretty hard to beat. <laughs> Make him endless. Nah. Shitstone. Looks like we got a nice no frenzy stone run going here. <sighs> Volatile gauge. I highly doubt that would be any good with a hold over perils. <laughs> could do a golden vault. Scourge. Is it Scourge Arcus? I think it is. None of these do much for me. In case Divinity makes the starting shelters that I seem to be getting every fight slightly less shitty. So that's probably the call. Golden vault's honestly probably the call. I just don't really want to give up the money. Yeah. Okay, that's rage. That's probably just frostbite, and this is probably just total recall. <laughs> Literally the only time I actually want the rage germ, it gives me imp in a box. I don't know that imp in the box really does anything for me. Wow, shit fucking cavern. That's about the worst cavern there is. Anyway. Um, hmm. Plinks probably have ran out of their life shelf here. Shelters are pretty bad too. Most of the deck is honestly pretty bad. I think the shelters are okay though. I think the Plinks probably need to go, right? They're the worst in the deck right now. I mean, we want infused stuff, though. This Surge Stone and Timber Assault's probably pretty bad. Let's remove that. I have the Echoes. Feast is pretty fucking bad, potentially. I mean, true, I could hold it over and then still set up top. I think the plan top is just daze him and then I can put morsels down. I think we remove the feast. I just it's such a bad card. That works for me. Um what are the steals looking like? I don't I don't know that I would go searching for frenzy stone anymore. Um, I think this trinkets is just gonna be better. This magic is gonna be better. So we could just lock in health. I would have done damage shield, but chased. I don't know. Health probably just better here. Don't think we would want the shit stone. Yeah, we're just conceding to no frenzy stone run. It's fine. I had so many No Frenzy Stone runs these days. Oh god, we would stack so much days. Fuck me. What the fuck? It's like as bad as it could be. Why does it have to go in there? Oh, you're gonna stack so much fucking days. Well, it is what it is. It's not really much I can do about this. Hey look, a shelter in my opener. Never seen that bullshit fucking before. Okay, at least we got that. That's cool. Too bad when I'm dazed it doesn't like prevent the fuel resolve. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh... Try to kill this... Just do this. Look at that shit. We can pay a little bit of pyre health, I think.
play this, I don't know on what. Um, probably this. These reaps don't know what to do, huh? You're not doing it right, friends. Hellborn Harvest, you say. Probably get a better shelter off. Bottom deck in that shit. You're a little fucker, you know that? Have some of that. Maybe I should be putting it on Arcus, I don't know. I've got a lot of damage shield built up. Damage. May not have a lot of feel. Crush Arcus here. Alright, there's the soul crushing guilt. That should pretty much solidify things. Bye bye, Arcus. Bye bye. Mitosis. Symphony. Symphony might not be bad. I mean, I'm going to have a lot of rage. The rare time where it might make sense. I think maybe Symphony is the call here. Like, I could get a lot of rage, potentially, with that. I may even want to hellvent the perils at that point. Just so I get to it sooner and I can stack rage. I think I like that. Especially against Chaste, I'm not going to have much rage. I need to be able to rescale it. Definitely draw. If I have to go mid... I'm not gonna take a pip upgrade. I'm just maybe we get a mind jacks here or something. I, I I don't have to go mid though because I have soul crushing guilt. I should pretty much mitigate that. Let's take a look here first. No. Yeah, yeah. Wing technology that'll work. That obviously will work. Um, that means I don't even need the soul crushing guilt. Do we want split anvil? I doubt it. We have literally nothing for it other than Symphony. Minehorde's great though, that'll make Symphony a lot easier to get off. Five health, I mean, could be okay. We should check what version of Primordium we're getting. I think we get a point of Stalwart, it's pretty good, honestly. Um, that means this 5 technically counts as a lot of extra health on our allied construct. I don't know that we need it though. Gives a little survivability to the morsels, but they already have a damage shield. In most cases, that's going to be all I need. There might be rare cases where I'm getting sweep and spikes, but... You know, some of those waves are like that in Divinity, but hopefully I'll just have him dazed by then. I do need to daze him anyway to mitigate the hits to Primordium. This could give me an extra hit. I don't know, it just seems so weak though. Like, let's say he does take off my damage shield. Before I can get to Soul Crushing Guilt. And if I get like the early perils, it hurts the draw. Then that extra health will be 
nice because I can just keep him alive. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like there's better artifacts. Like primordium isn't that necessary to the to me winning now that I have wing technology. So let's just let's just reroll here. Chain it like that. Chain of gems already way better. Yep. Amazing. We just gotta remember to put him down first. Even if it is gonna get the Ember Drain, that's a-okay. I mean, it's extra shards, but Spell Chain on the perils seems amazing to me. So hold up or spell, cha spell Chain perils is a tale as old as time. We don't need Piercing on these. I'll even Hellvent that, go up even more in shards, I think that's fine. That spell chain peril is going to be beautiful. It's a lot of damage. It's also a lot of gold. I don't think this is going to be bad. With the chain of gems, it shouldn't be. Do this and that. Could do that for minor armor. I think we just do that. Oh, fucking goddammit. What are you trying to do to me, game? Um... Hmm. Gonna be a lot of these. I think we just want this. I can chump block with morsels if I think I need to. shield giving to our our peeps each turn which is nice I don't think we use crushing guilt here I may just return soul back my thing I think I will I'm gonna get the most stacks out of it this way so now I'm getting sick you know, I have two more stacks here of 16 and 42 rage. It's going to be hard to beat that. Stacks of damage shield, probably good there, eh? Um, try for the planks. Try again for the plank. Oh, living armor. 420, by the way. This living armor, so <clears throat> no styling needed. I also have chain of gems, man. I almost didn't even need wing technology with chain of gems, but I'll take it. Oh my god, avoid binding. Whew. 
Umbra is carrying the absolute fuck out of this run. Uh, probably don't need these. Yeah, we want to get that, uh, Void Binding double stacked or something. Could do Wing Steel. Base charge, maybe. Again, with the frickin', uh, whatever you call it. It's, we got our double stack. It's beautiful. It's in the middle. Money. Get it back down to a one. I don't think we have to spend money in a search, search down. Don't need to do any of that. Get the ember of that down, I think. Not that we need to do that. I mean, I got a spell chain perils. Alright, what else do we got here? Do we just do wing steel? Improved firebox? I doubt we need. I think I like wing steel. And that's about it, huh? Unless I wanna. I could remove some more cards. It's probably fine. As far as Helvents go. Still kinda wanna get to this sooner than later. It will hurt my future draws, but. I don't know, that's pretty good too. Like the Void Binding. This one doesn't cost me shards. Maybe I like this. That's 12 rage. That's hard to beat. Let's duplicate that. And I could re-roll. Let's get rid of the shelters. They're horrible. I could boons for another removal. I'd rather just uh, re-roll and see what I would have had. Mind jacks. And bullshit. It's fine. I'm, I'm fine with this. I'm feeling pretty confident here. Even though Chaste will remove a lot of buffs. Like, we're gonna be just so strong. Alright, I'll start with the... Uh, Void binding here, I think that's more than fine. We may as well play the void binding one more time. Just stack as much shit as possible here. Then even though he's having me each turn. Here and out, I still have this other one. Oh, I fucked that up. Should have done that. That was a pretty big fuck up to not play the bounty echoes before, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. Got that at one. Two, one, two, three. Do I care about that? Maybe. I am gonna need to fuel. Certain amount. God, Chase is so ridiculous. So fucking ridiculous. Purifying, right? Oh no, we didn't go enough shards for purify. So we can actually stack reap on. Well, kinda. We can kinda stack reap. Man, such a mistake to not have this. Oh, it's gonna be hard for me to live that one down. I think we'll be fine. I mean, I'm doing pretty big, pretty big fucking damage here. 
will be pretty filled up. Got this. I don't think I bother stacking guilt until he's done fucking around with everything. Alright, now that your annoyingness is dealt with, I guess we can just do this. Get as much of this as possible. Somehow we only end up with two reap there, but whatever. I still am going to get pretty big here with this Symphony of Soul. This might be the best Symphony of Soul um, I've been able to make use of. I, I really just don't ever use that. Uh, that card, in all honesty. I can stack a bit here. Probably makes sense to play all these here then. And you're definitely dead. But we'll give you everything we got. Rest assured of that. Have at it. Boom. Man, when you hit the Ember Drain cards, it's so powerful. This is a no frenzy stone run too. Does it feel weak? It ain't. Alright. Uh, I fucked up that other turn by putting him down first, right? We need to put you down first. And do this. And do this. Unfortunately, not a really good return soul here, except, you know what? I actually do think it's probably okay to do this. We're getting the max stacks here. I think that makes sense. You know, from turn one, essentially. Okay, I'm gonna do the right thing this time. Wow, we drew so, we drew pretty fucking well. That's pretty that's pretty awesome in all honesty. We drew incredibly well. Alright, we need you to have that. Go with damage for now. Let that come back in, I guess. I don't know what to do with the morsels at this point, to be 100% to be honest, but... This looks pretty okay to me. We're gonna have a gigantic symphony here. Let's do this while we can. Okay, let's make sure we do this right. One, two, buckle my shoe. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> this is definitely a good symphony. This is uh, Tales of Symphonia here, Symphony of the Night. I actually should have probably just doubled it on him, but uh, I think this overall still makes sense. we can bring back our stat doubler here. And that should pretty much be damn near flying kill. It'll definitely be a flying kill now. Look at these stats, dude. 
120, 1,000, 200, 300, whatever that reads, by 3. It's so big, but the numbers become so small that it, my poor little eyes can't read it. You know we're gonna give him everything we got, though. This bitch needs to die anyway. She doesn't get to see her beloved divinity die. She just needs to to meet her maker the old-fashioned way. And we'll plink here, because we can. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. Um, man, that felt good. It's been a while since I've been able to do a nice superfood, um, like high roll run with, uh, you know, the Ember Drain package. Could have been crazier. I mean, we could have had Furnace Tap, but we had plenty good. Symphony of the Soul, definitely, I'm going to give it the MVP here. In all honesty, it probably doesn't deserve it, but... When else am I ever going to be able to give an MVP to Symphony of the Soul? Probably never. Although, honestly, we got the double upgrade here in Entember Assault. Um, it was okay. It got us through the toughest rings. So maybe I actually give the MVP to Entember Assault. Because I shit on this card all the time. Rightfully so. I still think it sucks. But... We didn't have much other options to get through the awkward mid-game, you know, as powerful, as as much of a stomp as the rest of this was, you gotta remember, ring 4 and 5 are not easy. I was kind of on a knife's edge being able to get enough fuel to finish those, those rings out. Um, you know, with the clip guard, I just wasn't gonna generate much, even with the upgraded, um, and Tumbra assaults, and similarly, the stealth boss... I needed to, to generate the echoes, <laughs> or the morsels, which we saw at the end. I didn't really draw any of them, but I drew enough, just enough to win, so, you know, I was barely beating Stealth Boss. So, you know what, in Timber Assault, you get a co-MVP with uh, Symphony of the Soul. Two cards that I don't rate highly at all got to have a chance to shine. How nice for them. In all honesty, though, I don't think they even match what Perils and Void Binding just sort of bring to the table, even in this run. But we'll we'll let them have this win. Anyway, that'll do it for this one. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time.